Hi, I'm here with Richie Moore from Cisco Cycle from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, Richie, tell us about your company and how you learned your craft. Well, I started uh, doing uh, frame, well, I started out as a welder with uh, Lightspeed back in 96, I believe it was. Uh, I worked 10 years with those guys and Linsky, the founders of Lightspeed, they started up uh, Linsky Performance and I've been with those guys off and on uh, almost since the beginning of, uh, of their business. Mm -hmm. uh, I struck out on my own April 1st to be two years uh, that I've been two on my year own. year anniversary mm -hmm. coming up. Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I kind of took some of their technology that they use on Linsky and took it to steel and started twisting steel. And um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of where I cut my teeth is with uh, titanium bikes with uh, Lightspeed and uh, right. Linsky. And I still presently uh, work part time when things are kind of slow for me. Yes. Uh, with uh, Linsky now. Okay. Yeah. Well, he brought us a couple bikes and uh, show us your first one here. What do you got here? Um, this is a uh, city bike or, or a fixie that uh, I just thought it looked kind of cool uh, to twist uh, the top tube and down tube, and you know it adds a, a little flavor to the to the frame, uh, but it also strengthens the frame. Uh -huh. uh, it's a little stiffer. Uh, a little better power transfer uh, to the uh, rear wheel and uh, it uh, kind of looks cool too. It does, it yeah. does. And this, this uh, bike is kind of unique because uh, it's something new that we tried this year is the paint on it is actually uh, heat activated. So if it's super hot outside, the bike will actually turn all the way, well, if I can get it to do it, all the way to white. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. but. Right, we see it. You can see the, the, the difference. It'll go all the way to white, and then if it's super cold outside, it'll, it'll almost go uh, to black. Right. And then in room temperature, you, you kind of get this gray-green. Kind of a gray-green color. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of interesting. Look at that. The, um, yeah, I saw pictures uh, at your booth earlier. Uh-huh. Uh, it was almost complete white and almost complete black. Yeah. What, what's, what's the temperature range uh, um, where it has occurred? To, to get it to go full uh, white, it's around 90 degrees. Uh-huh. Um, and then I think around 40 or so, it, it's kind of black. Right. Yeah. Right. So uh, it, it's kind of extreme. We, we thought it, it would be a little faster at uh, changing and stuff. Uh -huh. So uh, we debated about even bringing it to the show, but it, it's been, uh, it, people here have been calling it the mood bike. Yes. You know? so it's, yes. It's I mean, in you know, a part of a custom bike, it's the personalization, the little touches. You right. Know, we had glow in the dark bikes before that didn't quite work. <laughs> Um, but uh, this one I'm pretty fascinated with. Oh, well, thank you. So, um, twisted frames, uh, uh, are you doing exclusively twisted tubes or, or you, you do all kinds? I do all kinds. Um, it just depends on the preference of the customer. Mm -hmm. um, and I can do, uh, this is a kind of a heavy twist where the tubing is a lot more square. Uh -huh. I can also have it to where it's more of a subtle twist and, and the squareness isn't really there right. as much. Right. So it's not as defined. But right. um, yeah, so just customer preference. Customer preference, having mm -hmm. fun with it.